Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Dr. Paul with a mail call video today. I'm going to give you a quick word of caution the way that I'm pulling this tape off. You should be very careful removing tape this way. I have a lot of experience doing this, but you can easily uh, put a ding in the cover of the paper with your fingernail pulling tape off the front. So just be careful. Word of caution. Well, normally I say, what is it and why do we care? But you've already seen it. All Flash, number 19, here's another pro tip, tape like this, just take it right off before you get a tape pull on the cover of your book. All Flash, number 19, this is from June 1945. What a beautiful book. Really nice, clean, raw copy with beautiful page quality. Look how white that is. Had a great old paper smell without smelling musty. Again, beautiful paper quality here. Flash Comics was always an anthology series similar to Action or Adventure. And it was an early Golden Age pre-war series. All Flash was DC's reaction to what they believed was their ability to sell more Flash Comics. So the anthology series starred, usually had one story at least of Flash, but also had Hawkman, later Hawk Girl. Sometimes they were the feature, the cover feature of Flash comics. All Flash, in contrast, was nothing but Flash stories. So this book features three complete Flash stories of 12 or 13 pages each, starring Jay Garrick and his supporting cast. The cover story, The Adventures of the Mummy Case and the Wooden Man, really has a beautiful composition and Martin Nodell art. All three of the stories in this book were written by Gardner Fox. He's, of course, best known as the creator of The Flash, Hawkman, Dr. Fate, the original Sandman, and my favorite of all of his creations, he was the one who put together the Justice Society of America the very first superhero team ever. All three of the stories were drawn by Martin Nadell. He's best known as the creator of the Golden Age Green Lantern. There are only 28 universal copies of this book in the CGC census. The fair market value of this book is difficult to estimate because there are so few copies in the census, they rarely trade hands. I paid $409 for this copy all in, including the shipping and the taxes, which are significant when you purchase a book on eBay. For me, this is just a, a PC book. I will keep it raw. I will probably do a little bit of a clean and press on it. There is an opportunity, I think, to clean up some of the whites here. And to press this book, there's a little soily on the back, more so than there is on the front, which is odd. Normally, or often, I think we get the opposite of that. But this front cover is actually very clean. In fact, I think this cover looks so good that it looks too good to be true. So we're going to take a closer look here. I have my camera now handheld rather than on my tripod. Look at this area here. See how we don't have nice sharp lines? It's 
little bit blurry there. The color is just a little bit off right here. Similarly here. Look over here. See how these lines here just look a little bit blurry. See how this color looks a little bit off, a little bit blotchy. Look at the black right here. See how that black just looks a little bit blotchy, a little bit blacker here than it does here. Similarly, look at the red. See how it looks just a little bit darker right here? And also, see how it looks like there was a crease here, but there's no white fiber showing through? See how it looks like there's a crease here? but there's no white paper fibers showing through. That's because this book's been color touched. And I'm about to show you how to determine that. So there's some telltale signs. I'm gonna switch now to a UV light. Look at that. That color touch shows up like mud over top of the paper under UV light. See how under natural light or more or less white light just looks red. And you can see there's a little bit of evidence of that blotchiness like we mentioned here and here. But look how under UV it looks like somebody put mud, like a mud mask on top of the paper. Look at it here. Oh, I don't have a third hand to point, but you can see it in the middle of that scepter that she's holding. Now you can see all the color touch around this wooden fella's feet, around the edge of the platform he's on, all in this space around Flash's legs. That's all been color touched. The black does not show up nearly as badly under UV but I'm confident that's been color touched as well. There's where that crease goes through her cheek. See how on her cheek, it looks like she has a scar underneath her right eye under UV light. Under white light, it doesn't show up. It shows up just as a little bit of evidence of a crease, right? All right, let's look at one other thing. Let's look at the interior of this cover. Okay, I've got the book supported a little better. I'm certainly gonna request a full refund on this book, and so I don't wanna damage it, and I don't have a third hand to hold the paper properly. So here's the inside. You can see now how that crease actually does appear to break fiber, uh, break here. It looks much worse on the back than it does on the front. Also, that looks like it may be a glue repair right there with a little bit of tissue paper perhaps. But I think what we're really gonna, what's really gonna be telltale here is when we look at this under UV. So let me switch to that. Look at that. What appeared to be white paper, all color touched. This is cover up, look how bad that is. This is cover up on the back side for what may have been bleed through for the color touch they did on the front. Okay, boys and girls, you always hear me talking about an honest book. This is what a dishonest book looks like. This is how you determine it. There's another potential tear glue repair right there. This book's been worked on actually fairly extensively and I'm going to assume, because I, like I like to assume the best of people, 
I'm going to assume that the seller didn't know this. That if they had known this, they would have disclosed it to me. So I'm not going to come at them in an aggressive way. That's another tear that's been repaired right there, too. I'm not going to come at them in an aggressive way and accuse them of anything, you know, inappropriate. But I am going to be firmly demanding a full refund for this book. Wow, this is exciting. What we thought was just going to be a easy little mail call video has turned out into a how to detect conservation, uh, rather full restoration in comic books. Look at all of this touch that's been done on the interior. I think at least some of this is glue repairs. The book's been completely apart, reassembled, and it's had extensive work. So, what do we do now? If this were a key book, if the seller had disclosed that it was color touched, if we bought it for an appropriate price because of the color touch and the repairs, this might be something we would be interested in working on. But we paid real money for this book. It's not a key book. Frankly, in my opinion, it's not worth the trouble to undo this restoration. And I'm not interested in this book at all. So I like to assume the best of people. I'm not going to assume that the seller is a shady person or that they knew about this. If you're a casual observer, if you're not experienced in, in detecting restoration, Maybe this looks like an honest book to you. It, it looked like an honest book to me initially until I was looking at it a little further, right? And I'm fairly experienced in the techniques for restoration and how to spot it. So I am going to be notifying the seller. Again, this was an eBay purchase. I'm going to be notifying the seller that I appreciate them sending me the book. It arrived safely but that unfortunately it has extensive restoration and I'm not interested in it and I'm going to be sending it back to them for a full refund. So what started off as a simple mail call video turned into a how to detect restoration video. I hope you enjoyed that. If you enjoy this content, please like the video, subscribe to my channel because this is the sort of stuff that we do all the time here. And until next time, take care of one another.